Hello and welcome to the All Access Medicine video tutorial series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to examine cranial nerve 7, also known as the facial nerve. I'll show you how to examine the facial nerve, then talk you through the theory behind the examination, and finally leave you with some self-assessment questions where you can test your own knowledge. Hello, my name's James. I'm one of the junior doctors here. Can I get your name, please? Stephanie Sobek. And can I ask your date of birth, Stephanie? April 4th, 1989. Okay, I need to examine one of the nerves supplying your face today. Does that sound okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Before we start, I've got two questions to ask you. Have you noticed any change in your sense of taste recently? No. And have you noticed any change in your sense of hearing at all? No. Okay, I'm now going to move on and check the nerves supplying your face. So first of all, I'd like you to raise your eyebrows and look surprised for me. Okay, I'm going to try to push your eyebrows down and don't let me. I'd now like you to screw up your eyes as tightly as you can for me, and don't let me open them. Okay, I'd now like you to blow out your cheeks for me like this, and don't let me push them together. I'd now like you to bare your teeth for me like this, and finally, can you finish off by pursing your lips like this. Fantastic. That's everything I need to do today. Are you still comfortable? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. So a brief section now on the anatomy of the facial nerve. The facial nerve has many branches, both motor and sensory. However, for the purpose of this video, we will just focus on a few of them. Intracranial branches include the corda tympani, which supplies taste sensation to the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, and is why I asked the patient if they'd noticed any changes in their taste. There is also a branch of the nerve which supplies the stapedius muscle in the middle ear, and that is why it's important to ask the patient if they've noticed any changes to their hearing. Extracranially, there are five major branches of the facial nerve, which are as follows. Temporal, zygomatic, Buckle, mandibula, and finally cervical. These can be remembered by the mnemonic to Zanzibar by Motocar. With an upper motor neuron lesion, such as a stroke, only the lower half of the face on the contralateral side is affected due to bilateral innervation of the upper facial muscles as can be seen in image A. With a lower motor neuron lesion, commonly known as a Bell's palsy, there is an upper and lower weakness on the ipsilateral side and there is no forehead sparing as can be seen in image B. So if you like the video, we'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to our channel by clicking here, like the video and share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you very much for watching.